You've worked with a ton of amazing people, um, Doris. You got a good uh, Hubie Brown story for me in any way, shape, or form? Oh, from gosh. back in the day. You know, Rich, you know, we are lucky to, to interact with these athletes who are incredible and can mm-hmm. be awe-inspiring. I, I was a college student, mm-hmm. and I was actually Rick Pitino's nanny when he was transitioning between um, pro- uh, the Knicks assistant job and the Providence head coaching job. <laughs> I, I don't get in awe of anybody, but I grew up a Knicks fan. Yes. And and Hubie called the house. Rick was away recruiting. Uh, Hubie was going to pick Joanne and Rick's wife up for, I don't know, a picnic or something. And I could barely speak on the phone <laughs> because Hubie Brown had called the Patino residence. That's how in awe of Hubie I, I am and, and remain. And I'll say this to you. You know, I work with incredible colleagues because there's plenty about the NBA over the course of covering it that I didn't understand that I needed explanation. Why this coverage? What does this terminology mean? Yes. And to their everlasting credit, Hubie Brown, Jeff Van Gundy, Mark Jackson, name an analyst. They have answered every question I've had, and I've, I've always so appreciated it from all of them. Well, Hubie created the lexicon, did he not? And I, <laughs> I, right? I mean, like he's he's the one who created most of the words that everybody uses when re- referring to the the floor, the painted area. I assume you spoke to him from the painted area of the Patino <laughs> residence when you answered the phone back no in the day? Doubt. And- what people don't know is like the greatest joy of, of, of part of this is the dinners you've had, we've had with Hubie over the years. Yes. Because his stories go back to the ABA, the wild, crazy days of the, you know, the ABA and then him coming over to the NBA. I, I don't know if people understand, Rich, that there's no human being alive who has affected more generations right. on every continent than Hubie Brown. <laughs> Think about all the teaching he did with all the clinics overseas and his passion for the game at 80 plus years old. He he's a marvel. He is an absolute marvel. So who was your Nick when you say you were a Nick fan growing up, Doris? Who yeah, was it? Uh, I love Bernard King. Oh. You know, before before Bernard King's knee injury, the NBA had nothing for him. And Hubie tells me this. You know, one of the things he would say to me as you're trying to learn the NBA game is, you know, um, who is your best player? Mm. And what are you doing to get him his shots mm-hmm. in the areas on the floor that he was most comfortable? Well, for Bernard, that was the low box. And send what you may at him. Forget about it if you tried to check him, because I'm telling you, at his best, this guy was a bad man. Oh, well, number 30, anytime I see another Nick wearing it, it's, it's, it's bizarre to me, Doris. Bernard King was my guy. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you could hear, I audibly reacted when you said the name Bernard King. That was my guy, too. <laughs> That was my um, good. I'm glad we have something in common that that gives me oh, great joy. Many things. I mean, I, I you must you also have a better jumper than me. But I I attempted <laughs> you know the baseline. He would turn to the baseline from the lower box, and then yes. just the, his shot. He would he would make it from the baseline, turning around. Didn't matter which way, which box. His turnaround jumper high, to the baseline was was guard. lethal. Lethal. He had high hips and a big backyard. And listen, <laughs> a big backyard is a good thing as a basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were referring to my actual backyard where I was missing those jumpers <laughs> as a child, which has <laughs> caused me to talk about it more, <laughs> more and more. I mean, my gosh. Yeah, th- I, I just remember those battles Hubie in the old I guess what Joe Lewis arena against the Pistons and Trapuca and Isaiah before the bad boys those those were the those were the Knicks teams that I thought when when Bernard was teamed up with Patrick Ewing would win championships and of course Bernard uh, was just never healthy to make that happen you know and that's the long-suffering Knicks fans oh, that we are yes indeed <laughs> yes indeed 